Chapman troops, welcome back to another video. Aye, so it's been a while since my last video, but I've been stuck in the house for about seven weeks and I finally found the motivation to get my shit together. So, so I've got I've got an idea for what I want this channel to become, and within the next couple of videos, you will find out that hopefully I can expand this channel and have other people featuring on it. That's something you'd be interested in. I'll still be posting some of the try not to laugh videos because a lot of people do enjoy them. So there'll still be plenty of them coming, but also videos like this one. So I've been writing down, I've wrote down a couple of ideas that I was I was going to do for my first video back. Then I got this message from Matty XIV on Twitter, and he sent me this link to this video. And it's a video I've seen before, but I didn't realise how much comedy gold was actually in it. Basically what it is, is there's this woman who is a middle class English woman, and she's exploring the Scottish culture. And that just already creates a very interesting dynamic. So let's take a look. Give us sick of my jeans, man. Scott is my best friend. Scott can hold down sick like a fucking cantaloupe, man. He's already steaming, isn't he? He's talking the pile of shit already. We're only 10 seconds in. <laughs> Beautiful. Just like you, darling. Oh. Shagger. On this plate in front of me is Scotland's national dish haggis, meat, and tatties. Oh, see, this annoys me. We don't want to just cut about in counts and eat bloody haggis all day. Leave a comment if you actually like haggis, because I want to know. Beyond the lazy stereotype of deep fried Mars bars. Deep fried Mars bars, oh my god. I've literally never seen one in my life, man. It's... Oh, have you tried the, the deep fried Mars bar? No, fucking not. Can you list as many classic Scottish dishes as you can? Haggis. Haggis. Haggis eggs. Eggs? Yeah, I guess eggs. Scurly? Mince and tatties. What's a tatty? Oh, Jesus. She just said that. A potato? Square sliced sausage, that's another. Why, why, why make a sausage square? Because it's fucking nicer. Pies. Steak pie is still number one seller. I just, I love, I love steak pies. No f <laughs> I've never found somebody so lost for words with a love for steak pies before. Just everything up here just loves steak pie. She's absolutely taken away by it. I wish I had a passion for steak pies like that to be honest. You know, there's literally like a 15 minute segment on steak pies but I'll skip it over these. That one's a dumpling made but you, a way back you used to make it in your granny's knickers. What? <laughs> Ding. Maybe that's a bit before my time but I'm not too sure what's going on there. The thing is, I know there's, there's literally no explanation, so you're just left there thinking, what was she talking about? Come visit Danny McLaren, aka the Mad Chef. Who's that? Ah, he's just a mad chef, man. Danny runs the kitchen at Bar Block, a sweaty basement bar. He's made a name for himself by incorporating two of Scotland's most notorious drinks into his dishes, Buckfast and Iron Brew. Fucking love Bucket so much, man. <laughs> What we're doing, we're going to make fucking Glasgow's undisputed best ice cream of all fucking time. On the cream. Boom! One for myself. Yeah. And then one for the double cream and milk. I should state this was in 2014. That's why he's also taking a tan of the wine and just pouring the rest in. Couldn't get away with that nowadays. This is just for colour. This doesn't do anything alcoholic to it. So you can't get pissed off this ice cream? Yeah, you can, but I'm not supposed to tell anybody that. I was wondering why my four-year-old cousin kept on falling off his bike. That's just butt fast. What do you know about Iron Brew? Now, have you Why is she making that face for? This is before they changed the recipe, I know. This is the good shit. Just turn their nose up at it. I wouldn't drink your fucking espresso. Basically, I can't tell you what's in there. Oh, what? Give me a clue. What? Tomato puree, apple cider vinegar, paprika, garlic powder, and also a bit of a fresh garlic. I think that's a pretty big clue, mate. Can you like, stab, stab some it. holes inside it? Think of your ex-boyfriend at you and just let it go. Die, 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 die! Oh, calm down, hen. We know what to mess with her, man. To be honest, I don't really want to say in camera, but the first time I did this, yeah. I was very drunk. I was on my way to meet a young group of Buckfast enthusiasts who are fans of the popular Bucky Facebook page. So here it is. The name tonic wine does not imply health giving or medicinal properties. It's a wee bit like Green Street. I suppose feel like Chelsea or something. Getting indulged in the Scottish culture. Gifts. Oh, How are you? Oh, oh even cans and everything. Yeah. How are you doing, mate? Nice to meet you. Oh, I like Buckfast. 
it's good, but in a sense, it's disgusting. It's it's cheap and it's nasty, but in the same sense, it's good. We, we do need to crack the bottles. Yeah. And, and get, and get the, the ritual in. Three, two, one, boys. Is that the Shawshank Redemption theme tune? Or am I tripping? Wine time! Were you just sick? Yeah, I was sick a little. I was just sitting there taking a drink of wine. Then I kept it in my mouth for a little bit. Then I drank it a little bit. And then I was sick. What a story. You got any a movie. It looks like a heart attack in a box. <laughs> but a delicious one. A delicious heart attack. So all of this for under a tenner. It's amazing. She's moving up here, I'm telling you. Scotland in a nutshell. Just before I go, by the way, right, I've seen this on Twitter and all. Well, are you a bit outraged, right? Well, here's this Finlay tat, right? One Love Island, right? And he, he's got the, the lockdown in Scotland starter pack here, right? Which is Bam Shunt, right? Fair enough. Haggis, right? Alright, fair enough, aye. Iron I Brew, aye, I'll give you that, I'll give you that. And, eh, uh, what? No, no, I'm absolutely not having that. Just for watching trips. If you've not already done so, subscribe. There's more videos like this coming soon. If you have made it to the end of the video, I would appreciate it if you could leave a like just so I could see how many people actually watch the full video. And follow the best Scottish Twitter page that should be on your lockdown starter packs. Decent Power on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.